Kylie Jenner and welcome to my channel. I'm just kidding guys. Hey guys, it's Galaxy Girl and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a new video for you guys. I am with my friend Alicia here who is also a makeup artist and today she has transformed me into Kylie Jenner which is why this makeup is shit poppin' like goddamn. She is super duper talented and I hope you guys enjoy this video. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe and with no further ado, let's jump right into it. As you guys can see, I already have my eyebrows done just because I have like super finicky eyebrows and my shape isn't like Kylie's so I decided that I would just do them beforehand so she doesn't have like a nightmare having to do this for like 20 minutes. Like literally my eyebrows are like wacky AF. I'm just gonna let her do her thing so... Go ahead. What are you going to be doing? Alright, so pretty much we're going to go in with the Anastasia. The Anastasia Beverly Hill. Literally, this is like the only conjure kit I've ever bought and still use it to this day. Like, that's the holy grail. Also, I did order the Subculture palette this morning. If you guys don't know what day this is being filmed on, it's Tuesday, July 25th, the release date of the palette. So I will have that pretty, pretty soon. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> guys, it's okay. So she oh is going to be starting her YouTube channel soon. But you know how it is when you first begin. This was literally me two weeks ago. Like, just because just I've been everything. making some videos. Yeah, like brain farts the whole time. So if you are also starting a channel and you're like her right now, it's totally cool. Yeah, I'm like sweating. <laughs> She said this is <laughs> under pressure. Okay, but she's just gonna clean up my eyebrows right now with this contour kit. And we're gonna use the color Fair, and we're gonna do that above, and then underneath we're gonna the use tail. the color Lustre. All right. This is so weird. I don't have my makeup like done. Like people don't do my makeup. <laughs> so you don't want to go close to the eyebrow just because you might smear everything. So you want to just do a little underneath. And pat it in, don't really smear it. Guys, I wish I could actually sing. Like, literally, that is like the one thing I can't do. Guys, you can't have everything. This is honestly nice. Like, I really do feel like Kylie Jenner. I bet she gets her makeup done every single day. Does my eyebrow look flaky? <laughs> I know that people do set their eyes, but like, I literally have not added that step. <laughs> Excuse my ratchet ass water bottle. Like. Alright, so next we're gonna set with the MAC. We're setting with the MAC Studio Fix and also I will have all the products that we are using today linked down below so you guys can definitely recreate this look. It'll be super simple and very Kylie-esque because she loves neutral looks so that's what we're doing today. But yeah, definitely check out the description. Like, a lot of cool stuff there, usually. Mm -hmm. So again, don't swipe, just pat. And usually what I like to do is put, bring it more onto the nose. So when we go over with the foundation and everything, it won't get onto your eyeshadow. And then you have to redo it. When I finally learned how to do my makeup, like, without being embarrassed out in public, well, I wasn't embarrassed before because I didn't know that what I was doing was wrong, but my blend used to not be popping. Like, if you guys ever want to see me recreate my old makeup, like, before I actually knew how to do makeup, let me know in the comments down below because like literally tragic like i went outside like that all right so pretty much we're gonna go with the modern remenance palette Rem gonna, yeah. remenance isn't it it's renaissance nuh-uh damn i've been saying <laughs> i've been That's saying great. remenance bro someone told me remenance i was like oh for real <laughs> damn really see this is why i don't do voiceovers bruh she got some fake friends. <laughs> really? You know those friends that let you out? Like, like didn't, you, didn't you have friends like like with who said that your makeup was popping? Oh but you my knew god. That it wasn't? Bruh, no, you, like honestly, if you guys want to see how bad it was, I will insert one singular picture into this video. Like, literally exposing myself to the max right now. But this was like 
literally like a year ago. So, glow up. I glue up a lot in a year. Like, mm. a lot can happen. <laughs> you guys will definitely see. Alright, so, we're gonna go in the shade Vimeer. So we're gonna start off with the highlight. <laughs> Alright. Ooh, you do your highlight first. Yeah, but then I go over it again. Just so like it has a blending. Mm -hmm. A blending transition. That's actually nice. I've never thought of doing it like that because but that's smart because sometimes I feel like when I put on um my underbrow highlight, like sometimes I'll have too much, you know? Mm -hmm. And it'll get all into my eyeshadow and mess up my blend. And then it doesn't look right. Yeah. Guys, yeah, like she is definitely hooking it up with the tips right now. That's why she definitely needs to do voiceovers. So we're gonna go in with the same brush and then we're gonna go in with the color golden, golden orange. <laughs> oh, is that warm? It's, dude, I never looked into the names. What the fuck? These are weird. I'm <laughs> Cause you know, I'm just focused on colors, you know. I do not care about the names because they're all they're all the same. You yeah. Know, like, didn't you hear about that one palette that has like freaky names like orgasm or like hot, that's, you know? I don't that's know. stupid. Honestly, I've sometimes I will find eyeshadows or like the names and they will be like totally ridiculous or just like super weird and I've actually thought about making a video being like roasting eyeshadow names because they have some stupid ones like exactly. I've seen some dumbass ones I'm like bruh like y'all really had no other ideas <laughs> I can't like no So either way we're gonna go with the golden orange and then we're gonna put that on her lid and then from there we're gonna um, blend it out and then go in darker. I almost did my pat song again, but I feel like three times is annoying. <laughs> okay, what do you think about putting on your foundation before your eyeshadow? That's dangerous. That's <laughs> literally how I feel. Oh my god. I I hate girls who do that. I'm gay. Not hate. Strong word. Strong word. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, I literally cannot when people do foundation before they do their eyeshadow. Like if you are really good, like if you are a professional makeup artist, and you like know your that shit. You're not gonna have the fallout and everything. Yeah. Then yeah, do your thing. You know, don't listen to me at all. If you got it down pat, do your thing, girl. But like if you're a beginner or if you're not sure which one you should do first, eyeshadow before foundation. Literally, that is the safest thing to do. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna go in with the color raw sienna. And then we're gonna, we're gonna use this blending brush and use it in the outer corner and blend that in. And you want to bring it out because that's her signature look. She usually brings it out and she has that little line out there. Mm -hmm. I think she does that really well. Like, that's one of my favorite things. Because it's just so soft and so, like, light. And what I'm doing is making it, like, a triangle look. And it, it looks rough until you blend it out. Well, yeah, bring it out, you know, blend it in. Blend it into the highlight, of course. I tell Amos, bring it out, blend it in. <laughs> so we're pulling this out? <laughs> yes, we just had to grab that because we are going to use the color Fringe. But I'm not going to show you guys the eyeshadow palette because my little brothers Ooh. got into it. Yeah, <laughs> she just seen it. She's like, <laughs> not a lot of the colors survived. It's very yeah. messy. Like it was, this is a limited edition palette. This hurts my heart. I so I can never get this palette again, and luckily there are still certain colors in here that I can use, but it looks a mess, and I'm just not doing it. But yeah, the color fringe, it's the, it's the coral one. <laughs> and then we're gonna go in with our first brush that we use. It's kind of like a flat brush. Honestly, like whenever I do makeup, I literally use three brushes to do my eyeshadow, because you don't need more than that. I mean, unless you're doing a cut crease, then you definitely need more than that, but if you're just doing like a simple look like Kylie does, then you do not need that many brushes to complete this look. 
And again, pat, don't swipe. All right, so we're gonna go in with the color glitz and I'm gonna use my finger because I feel like it has more pigmentation and it falls out like the brush. Yeah. I don't, I don't know. Yeah, it could be because my palette's a little bit messed up. No, it's just in general because personally, um, I have loose glitter mm -hmm. and when I put it on the brush, like, cause sometimes, you know, I want to put like loose glitter on my yeah. highlight or, you know, anywhere pretty yeah. much and it sticks to the brush. It doesn't yeah. usually come off like that. Well, a really good loose highlight that I love is Star Crush Minerals. Like, they always have their 50% off codes. Like, every single person who kind of, like, works with them and has a promo code with them will give you 50% off. So, all their highlighters are, like, $4, and they're, like, extremely shiny. Like, well, they have different formulas depending on what you're looking for, but it's a really nice highlighter. Like, literally, fave. You will actually see me use one later in this video, so... And this is not a sponsor video, like, I don't have a promo code, I'm not trying to get y'all to, like, get me some coins, like, no, this is my honest opinion, like, they're bomb. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna use the Urban Decay Gwen Stefani palette, and we're gonna use the color Pop, and that's gonna be in her inner corner just to give her a more natural tone. And we're gonna go again with the flathead brush, and just put it there. We're just gonna use Regulard. I tried saying it in English, but it's like in Spanish. <laughs> Pretty much, so she doesn't want to broaden out to the outer core, we're gonna put it more inside the inner core. So when it does blend out to the outer core, it won't be really. It won't be as dark, yeah. And I mean, with the modern Renaissance like formula, or just like the shadow formula, we don't really have to worry about that because. Their formula is like insanely soft and super duper blendable, like I already mentioned. I mean, also not sponsored, like these are genuinely just brands that I love and that I use because all the makeup and all the brushes that you guys see in this video, it's just all my stuff that I have in my makeup collection from over the years that I've been doing makeup. I'm popping. There's a flame. I'm popping. Guys, I'm literally like speechless right now because I just went to go check my camera because I was going to put it a little bit closer so you guys can see her do the lips. And apparently, for the last like 35 minutes since we finished the eyes, the camera has not been recording. Because, well not the camera, I recorded my phone. I got a phone call in the middle of the video so it cut, but then I thought that I had restarted the video and I thought we were recording, but it wasn't, so... The footage of me getting my face done with the foundation, the contour, and everything is gone. However, I'm not giving up on this video. I will have all the products that I use on my face listed down below for you guys. But she has an amazing job on my face, so I'm just going to show it to you guys a little bit. What she did was she went in with the contour and then she kind of blended the blush into it, which is what really gives this look the kind of natural tone do you guys see wait we haven't done highlight mm -mm. yes you guys still get to see the highlight like so we're going in with mac the color light or shade light scapade mm -hmm. so she is using the mac light scapade highlighter and just a small fan brush i don't like the huge ones because i feel like you don't really get enough precision and with a small one like this it is very easy to work with loose highlight, like you guys will see in a little bit. And it also kind of helps because you can do the bridge of your nose. I like to bring it down so like your contour and everything shines. Mm -hmm. So you know that you don't have that streak of highlight. And I like to put some on the chin and the forehead just to make that glow. Well, we all know how glowy my forehead is naturally. Okay, so now for my inner corner and my nose, she is going to use one of my favorite products. This is Hollywood Royalty from Star Crush Minerals, and it's just a loose highlight. This is the $4 one that I was talking about, so you guys literally get this much product for only $4. Like, is that not crazy? Like, that does not sound real, but it is. Like, I have so many of these. They have, I think they have two main formulas, the sparkly one and the more matte one. This one is a sparkly, so love <laughs> we're just going in with a small brush for the inner corners and 
as you can see like it is extremely bright like you get so much pigment from these and what, that's exactly what I love about it because with highlighters a lot of the time it's really hard to get like that little sparkle so we're gonna go in with the Kylie lip kit this is the Coco K and this is actually the only Kylie Jenner product that I own I have some interesting feelings about her cosmetics brand that I can talk about in another video for you guys but this is the only one I have and we're using it for this video so yeah Not talking is really hard. Like, <laughs> oh my goodness, I was trying so hard to not say anything. So, this is the finished lip. This looks gorgeous. I honestly thought that it would look a lot crazier, but this is actually really nice. Okay, so now we're gonna go in with the Kiss lashes. These are the shy lashes because lately Kylie has been doing a more natural eyelash looks so I didn't want to do anything too crazy eyelashes are always a struggle so this is gonna be interesting mm -hmm. like you, I'm kind of scared cut them? yeah I do are you ready? yes I am ready <laughs> This is nice. I don't usually do like smaller lashes. I'm usually like a huge fan of dramatic looks. Just because like if I'm gonna be committing to lashes for a day, which is pretty rare because like they hurt my eyes and I'm usually not a fan. But like if I'm making the commitment, I'll be like gonna go all out. Like you can't do something halfway, you know what I mean? It's kind of crazy because I feel like I'm actually starting to look like Kylie Jenner. Like, I'm kind of in love right now. Like, literally, I keep looking at myself and I'm like, who that? Who that? You look sexy as hell. Yes. Mm. <laughs> oh my god. I'm so corny, guys. I can't. Wave it out. Wave it out. Gotta wave it out. I'm ready. Alright guys, this is the finished Kylie Jenner look. I am officially transformed. I will have a bunch of selfies up for you guys because you already know this makeup is popping. She did such a good job. Please make sure you go follow her on her Instagram. Go subscribe to her YouTube channel. She is posting her first video very, very soon. So she is super excited to do that. Would you like to say anything to the audience? Before you go, just before. to follow me, give me some opinions, feedback, everything. Yeah. Just to help me grow. That's me all. too, honestly. <laughs> I think anyone doing anything on social media or just in general, it's good to have feedback from people. So please let us know. And thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you guys in my next one. Okay.